So today we're going to be doing a video on my ball python collection and all the different morphs that I have. Um, I don't have a whole lot right now, but I do have some kind of cool stuff. So this here is an Enchi Spinner. Uh, really cool morph. Uh, spinner, the spinners are already kind of gold colored, but this guy, when you add the Enchi, you can see all the gold patterning on the sides camera isn't fantastic but he's got really this gold stripe on the back and he's got the gold sides you can see right there closer to the belly really high whites oranges mixed with the uh, golden browns up there totally clear white belly so he's kind of the crown jewel of my collection. He's fantastic. I'm going to be putting him to a lesser next year, uh, along with a pastel. Make some Enchi Spinner Blasts, some Enchi King Spins. So I can make some awesome stuff with this guy. This is my lesser here. I also really like this one. Um, I've never really seen a lot of lessers that look like her she's really the camera's not picking it up but she's very yellow like a yellowish tan belly is totally clear fades into that yellowy alien heads and then she's almost kind of a black back actually she's got a very reduced kind of back really nice looking so she's the one that's going to get paired to my um, she's going to get paired to my Enchi spinner here we've got a pastel it's a pretty nice looking pastel he's starting to brown out a little bit but you can see especially along the sides he's keeping a lot of that yellow coloring this guy's actually for sale because he's a male and I really don't have any plans for him breeding this next year. So if anyone's interested, if anyone's in Wisconsin or anyone or anywhere else, I'd be willing to uh, ship him. Here's one of my het pides. This is the male. He's actually really orange. He's in shed right now, so he doesn't have the best colors, but you can kind of see on his belly there. He's really brightly colored. He's got some great het pied markers, as you can see. Really obviously het pied. So, he's fantastic. I'm going to be breeding him to my two het pied females. And he's ready to breed now, probably, but females aren't, so probably next season. But hopefully I'm going to get be getting some pied stuff soon. Here's one of my female head pieds, my bigger one. She's a good girl, always eats. It's getting pretty big. Not as obvious pied markers, but still got some of the train tracks, as they call them. So when, when it's something's a head pied, usually they'll have clear bellies and they'll have those black markers on either side, but they don't necessarily have to. They just... Uh, usually do so she's getting pretty big like 800 grams now she's a yearling so hopefully next season she'll breed for me I'm not gonna show the other head pie it looks basically the same and uh, except a little smaller here's my cinnabe she's also in shed so she's not gonna be looking her nicest but you can kinda see she has that pinkish sheen see her belly so she's gonna shed pretty soon but uh, she's pretty nice looking she's got the high whites I like her pattern a lot so she's gonna go to my pewter male that I'm gonna show next so we're hopefully gonna get some super sinis and some uh, silver bullets if you haven't seen those check them out on world of ball pythons they're awesome looking Here's my pewter male. 
he's a big boy. He's like about 1,500 grams now, but he's going to have to wait another year before he breeds till that female's up to size. But I haven't really seen a pewter like him. He's like a really dark, uh, dark kind of muddy pewter. I know some people wouldn't like that, but he's pretty unique looking. Really iridescent, so I think he's going to, because he's so dark, I think he's going to make some awesome super cinnamon babies, because they're going to be really black and dark, I think, which is going to be awesome. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I know I don't have a whole lot of snakes to show, but should have a bunch more in the future. I got an unboxing video coming up this next week, so I think it's something you guys will like. So, thanks for watching.